Fast Global Ministries welcomes you to Flashback Friday. Pastors Jeff and Demetria Bass have been teaching and preaching the Word of God with clarity and simplicity for over 25 years. Now, let's flash back to one of their classic messages. Today, I want to talk about what you need to do to stay focused on God. Stay focused on God. Let me give you about five points or five things to do first. I'm going to give you scripture at the end and break it all down. But here are five things you need to do or implement to stay focused on God. First, begin your day with God. What do you mean? Well, if we're going to stay focused on God, we have to get, we've got to include the things of God in our daily lives. You probably heard that when something is repeated twice in the Bible, is something that you must pay attention to. And that's right. How about something that's repeated 10 times in one teaching? That's how many times Jesus used the word abide or remain in John chapter 15, the first 11 verses. Staying focused on God requires abiding in him. Amen. So just to begin your day with God, start doing, do this right here. Begin I would say for the next week or so and see how it works for you. Try getting up and reading St. John chapter 15, the first 11 verses. Secondly, remove sin from our lives. Uh-oh, this, this could have been the first point <laughs> in the list. But what I mean by this point is that we need to remove, listen to this, the habitual, continuous, sinful habits and patterns from our lives. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Here's what it says. Since we are surrounded by so many examples of faith, we must get rid of everything. I'll say it again. Everything that what? That slows us down, especially sin that distracts us. If there is something, someone, some place, or anything in our lives that leads us away from God in any way or that keeps us from praying, fellowshipping with other believers, or it tends to, listen to this, distract us from reading the Bible, get away from it. Amen? Stay focused on God. Number three, remain in prayer. Do you want to create and develop the habit of a, of a prayer life? Well, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 says, pray without ceasing. This is a habit worth developing and isn't as difficult as you may think it is. Number four, listen to this, limit what? The distractions. Distractions are everywhere. Boom, look, I'm looking this way, I'm distracted. I'm looking that way, I'm distracted. We've got to get away from the distractions because the distractions come to take our eyes and our focus off of staying focused on God. We tend to get too busy with this and too busy with that. Stay focused on God. And number five, the fifth tip, serve God. In Matthew chapter six, verse 24, it teaches what Jesus teaches. He says, no one can serve two masters. For either you will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. Can't serve money also. <laughs> God and money. You've heard that verse. You probably also heard the term mammon in place of money at the end of it. Though mammon was a word that primarily represented money and possessions, it was also used to refer to lusts of all types. So, if you're serving God with your resources of time, talents, treasures, and your heart, then you have to stay focused on God, and it will naturally progress a flow from doing that. Staying focused on your time, your talent, your treasures, staying focused on the things of God, amen? And you will e more easily serve God. Now, let me close with the scripture that I want to give you and out of this scripture comes six reasons or six blessings of why you and I need to stay focused on God. Let's go to Psalm 91, verses 14 and 15. It reads, 
because he, who is he? God has focused his love on me. I will deliver him. He will deliver us. It says, I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls out to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in his distress. I will deliver him and I will honor him. That's the 91st Psalm, verses 14 and 15. Six blessings there. I will deliver him. So God says he will deliver us. I will protect him. God will protect us. I will answer him. That's three. He'll answer us. I will be with him in his distress. So God is saying he'll be with us when we're going through distressful or, or, or troubling times. I will deliver him. He says he'll deliver us out of those situations. And finally, I will honor him. God will deliver you. Stay, stay focused on him. He will protect you. He will answer you. He will be with you in the, in the trouble. Again, he will deliver us and he will honor us. Those are great reasons to stay focused on God. Stay focused on God and him alone, okay? Try it. Thanks for joining us on Flashback Friday. If you enjoyed this message and would like to hear more, join us this weekend online for an encouraging and life-changing message. We are Bass Global Ministries, and we're building an online community of believers who desire to get closer to Christ and grow deeper in God's Word. Visit our website at www.bassglobalministries.com. That's www.bassglobalministries.com for service times and more information. Bass Global Ministries, the place to gather, grow, and go. Be blessed.